Hey everyone, David here, and this is another really fast, easy, and simple Fantasy Grounds tutorial. And this tutorial is going to be on how to import images and maps into your game. So, you're going to be able to import images out of game and while you're in game. So if you're out of game, when you open up the Fantasy Grounds program, and once you're at the starting interface here, in the top right hand corner, you are going to see a data folder button. You will click that button, and then you'll have a ton of different folders within your Fantasy Grounds folder. The one that you're going to want to look for is campaigns. And when you click on campaigns, you're going to have a folder for every one of your games that you have started on Fantasy Grounds. Now, for this instance, say that I, I want to put something into my Rise of Tiamat game. So I'm going to click on my 5th edition Rise of Tiamat game folder, and then the next place I'm going to want to look is the Images folder. This is where all of the images are stored for what I want to have my players view. So I've already imported a couple of these images, the Leoson and Onthar Froom image, so now my players will be able to view those and I can share those with the players in the game. So that is how you upload images while you're out of the Fantasy Ground game. Okay, so now you're in your game and you want to upload images that way. So once you're in the game that you want to upload the images to, all you're going to want to do is on the right hand side go to the Maps button. And when you go to the Maps button it's going to pop up the Images and Maps interface. Now there's a couple of buttons on the top. The first one is to the Fantasy Ground store where you can get maps and, and stuff like that. And the next one is the folder button. Now if you click the folder button it's going to basically take you right back to where you went to while we were outside of the program. So there's two ways to access your folder. And then you would just you know drag and drop them in the folder. Now if you just want to simply just drag and drop an image, you can also take one. And I'm taking one off of my one of my other monitors that I have. And I'm just going to take that and drag and drop it right into the Images and Maps folder. And you can see that it popped up. There you go. And then when you, you check your folder file again, that your, your, you know, your folder file for your uh, images, there it is, the audience chamber. So that is how you upload images into Fantasy Grounds. Now, I do want to say this about uploading images into Fantasy Grounds. I would keep them, even though Fantasy Grounds does allow you to use uh, JPEGs and also PNGs, I've found that I've had more success using JPEGs and using smaller files. So, for instance, if you have a large map with three levels of the dungeon on it, maybe using paint.net or GIMP or Photoshop and cut that map up into three separate images where you're gonna have smaller files that's just gonna help you you know when you share the image which if you wanna share the image just right click it and then click on the little guy shouting there hit the sharing and then you share the sheet and then it will pop that up for everybody that is in your game just make sure you have the files a little bit smaller and you know to each their own for personal preference on if you like JPEGs or you know PNGs better I like using JPEGs they always end up being a smaller file size therefore it's quicker to show the players so there you go everybody that is how you upload images for Fantasy Grounds please feel free to leave a comment down below also like the video and share it if you like also, subscribe to the YouTube channel, and until next time, happy gaming.